And we're going to, on the background, we're going to put this uh, nice red color. And then on the opposite side, we're going to put this blue color. Okay. Now I know that makes it disappear, but don't worry about that yet. Let's take this heart and let's just move it, rotate it, move it down to where it's going right through the center there. And then I would normally just take it down in size until it uh, matched up like so. And then just bring in this one side a little bit and maybe rotate it so that I can get that a little bit better like so. Okay, and um, we might want to go in a little bit and uh, just take off that stroke so much because it's really thick. Maybe just bring that down. Yeah, about like that. That looks pretty good. We'll drop a shadow on that. And then what we'll do, uh, we're going to go in here and we're going to put a stroke, make it white on this Happy Valentine's Day. Just real thin, nothing, nothing big drop a shadow on that as well and then we can do uh, something with this blue layer here we can drop a shadow on it like that uh, we could stroke that with black and maybe just make that nice and thin kinda like that um, that actually is pretty cool but I wanted I want to keep that color on there more than that but maybe purplish kind of like that kind of gives it that effect like it's kind of like bellowing out which is pretty cool um, no, I don't want that one satin and then we can just play with these and see what see what comes of that if anything if we even like that effect and I don't really care for it so I won't go with that and like that we really can just drag this over like that. And this really needs to be smoother. So let's do this. Let's grab this tool here. And like so. We'll grab the layer style. We'll paste it on there. We'll get rid of this layer and then this background layer we're just going to make that whole thing this color like so that way it's nice and flowing and then we can just use our our uh, paint brushes around the heart uh, beneath it maybe above it a little bit and we'll just I'm just gonna load some brushes that I found online um, nothing big here uh, and you can find all kinds of brushes online so I'm sure I, we have a whole thing all about that on uh, the website and let's see, that looks pretty good. These are huge brushes. And maybe do a little curly cues. Just keep going with that until we get all the way around the heart. And what's cool about this is it doesn't have to be perfect. It's more of an art uh, type thing. Okay, and then we're going to duplicate that layer. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, um, Radial Blur, spin it by about 10. And that looks pretty cool, but let's do this again. Radial Blur, let's just zoom it. And that looks a lot, lot cooler to me, in my opinion. So I, I like that. And then let's duplicate that layer. And then we can uh, flatten that layer like that. And then right below it, we can do some more different kinds of brushes. and just kind of do some different effects with it. Uh, that's a little, little weird looking there. 
you know, just try different stuff. It's it's really just about practicing and doing different stuff to till you find out what you like. And then I would end it by putting the person's name that you uh, uh, are giving the Valentine's to on the image, obviously. Uh, it's probably the most important part. Make sure to drag that above every layer. And I'm going to turn that sideways a little bit. And uh, Sarah's my girlfriend. Love her to death. And we're going to drop a shadow, stroke it with this color over here is actually pretty cool. Maybe make it a little bit darker. And let's see. And we'll just leave that alone. And there's different stuff you can try and use, but uh, I kind of like the this one here. So I'm just going to go with that. And we can also put effects on that, different stuff. Kind of like the flag, so I'm going to go with that. And just like that, you've completed a Happy Valentine's image in Photoshop. I hope you guys have enjoyed this lesson, and we'll see you soon.